Hello and welcome to today's Alchemy Coffee Break session. Today's topic will be translating Android application with Alchemy Catalyst. Alchemy Catalyst is able to uh, translate Android applications. To do so, it will allow you to translate the Android package directly. The Android package is an APK file and is the result of a compiled application. This is what you upload to the Android market. This means that you do not need to have the source content. You can simply translate the uh, final binary. Now, obviously, if you do have the source content, we will be able to translate that as well by parsing the different component. Another advantage of going the binary or package way is that we are able to recover any existing translation that is present in your uh, package. Okay, let's move to the demonstration. Now, because this is Android and this is not a, a PC type file, I have a Android phone emulator. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the original version of the application I want to translate. And this is this little eBody application. And as you can see, it's an instant messaging application. So I can create an ID or if I have an ID, I can log in. So as you can see, you know, you have a couple of screens here with a menu. Oops. We have a menu and we can create an ID, recover a lost password, or have a look at the about box. Okay. Before we actually move to the installation of this application, we need to remove the English application from our uh, phone. Phone, by the way, is um, set to French, as you can see, so that if an application has a French set of resources, it will display those resources. So here what I'm doing is I'm just uninstalling the English only application and we will replace this by the French application very shortly. Okay, we're happy with uninstall. And this is done. Okay, now we're ready to move to Catalyst itself. So let's start, let's use Catalyst. And we're, we want to translate our eBody application. The first thing we need to do, obviously, is create a new TTK and select our source and target language. This is so and so. We can now insert the file, which in this case is the APK file. Okay. Click on open and this will insert the file. Now, inserting an APK file essentially consists in extracting the content of the archive and extra inserting those contents in Catalyst. Now, there are more than just localization files inside the APK, so we will insert everything and only display the localizable content. Although, if you prefer, you can go into the options and the Android settings will allow you to show everything, not just the localizable content. Side note, you will also be able to sign the APK file. So in order for a, uh, an application to be set installed on a phone, it needs to be digitally signed. And this will allow you to do to digitally sign the file when you extract the APK file. The signing process is uh, you know, the same as when you are actually building your APK file. OK, so I've inserted my file. If I click on the little plus here, I will see a couple of options, you know, a few options, uh, layout, menus, row, and values. Now, values is the folder that interests me because it is the one containing all the strings. Now, because here what I see is value without any language code, I know that this is the actual source folder. This is not what I'm going to translate. This is just for reference. In order to translate the French, I need to add that language to my uh, package. And to do that, I will right click on the file and select the add language command. I can then select the file, the language I want to add. If I'm working on a, a master TTK and I'm going to do it in multiple languages, I can add all the languages I need at this stage. Click on OK. And now, because my, so my target language is set to French, I will the value folder has been replaced by the value minus fr folder for French. And this is the files inside that folders are the actual files I want to translate. So here, if I click on the strings of XML, I can find all of the strings for translation. Okay, at this stage, I've created my uh, TTK file, I've added my language or languages. I can now, um, you know, do things like 
uh, add logs, add memos, add keywords, analyze the file, pre-translate the file. I can work on this file just as I would with any um, TTK file. So in this case, we'll simply save it and call it project.ttk. We do overwrite the one that exists. There we go. And this essentially is the file as it would be sent to the translator. As a translator, I can go into the strings item and translate it, or maybe I need a bit more context, in which case I can have a look around the layout. And if I click on the About dialog box, it will show me all of the strings inside this dialog. But if I click on the Preview, it will actually give me a, uh, you know, a static rendering of the dialog box. So I can see what I'm translating, it can have a little bit more context. Maybe I want to do the same thing for the login page because we saw it earlier in the application. So here is the login page. Now, you know, it gives you context. It shows you how the different items are related to each other. It will help to, you know, make the translation that little bit more accurate. Now, I will want to translate, eventually, I will want to translate this file. So to do that here for the demo, we'll just run a leverage expert and use a file I prepared earlier, which contains a few translation, you know, just so that I can show you that we have translations here. Okay, so at this stage, you know, the translation would be complete and I'm ready to generate my uh, multilingual APK file. To do that, all I need to do is select the APK file, right click on it and select Extract File. This will extract the content, so actually let's create a new folder here. We'll call it Translated. If I know how to spell, and we will just put the file in there. And Catalyst will now extract the file. To extract the file, what it will do is it will extract the content, um, the complete structure, and then use that to rebuild an APK file, and then use the information we've given it into the settings to sign that APK file so that it can be installed on the phone, or in our case, on the emulator. So this is going to take a little while because there are quite a few pro uh, steps in the process. And there we go. We now have a translated APK file. So if I have a look here in my temp folder, I have a translated folder and my eBody191 APK file. Okay. Now, I'm not exactly going to, to ask you to, to believe me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install this file on my um, emulator. So to do that, I point to the file inside the translated folder, which is time translated ebody.apk, and I will run this command. The adb command is part of the Google uh, Android SDK, and it allows you to install um, packages onto a virtual phone. So the virtual phone is this one here. It's on port 5554, and it's currently waiting for me to so it's currently processing the demand. So as you can see, it's transferred it to the phone. It's going to analyze the package now and should give me the name of the package. There we go. And it's finally going to tell me whether it's managed to install it or not. And there we go. And we have installed the translated application on our phone. So if everything went well, I should now be able to find it in the menu. And yes, there it is. And if I start it, it should start in French. And there we go. So we have the main, you know, the main window we've seen earlier. I can click on the menu and you can see that the menu is translated. If I have a look at the, uh, I already have an ID, I can see that the login box or page, if you will, is translated as well. And if we look inside the uh, about box, it's also been translated. And so this essentially um, concludes our overview of the localization process with Alchemy Catalyst. As a summary, I you know would like to reiterate that we basically support the APK translation. So as soon as you have, as long as you have the package, the Android package, you can create a translated version of this application. You don't you don't need the source files. We do support the source files, but you don't have to have them. We can. Um, just work off the APK file and we will be able to recover the existing translation. So if you have translations inside the APK file, we will be able to use those, align them and allow you to reuse them seamlessly.
If you have any questions about the Alchemy um, translation process for Android files, do not hesitate to contact us on uh, info at alchemysoftware.ie. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for attending this session and have a nice day. Goodbye.